Boom shots. Yes, boss. We out here, man. So it's all about lovers rock and soul right now. Yeah, man. Before we did this interview, I did a little homework and just like looked up all of the the tracks, you know, like because I all of them were familiar, but I was like, where did he come up with some of these songs, you know, like? Is, is these selections, you know, that... I actually asked myself that today. <laughs> I mean, the diversity on this album is amazing. And, you know, you, you think of Lover's Rock, you think Jamaican music, and you've dipped into that sound before. You've done Sweet Jamaica, and you've done, right. you know, these classic vintage Jamaican songs. But I think there's right. actually only one song on the album that's a Jamaican songwriter, right? It's Alton. Right, Alton Ellis. Yeah. And, you know, I guess let's start with that because, you know, to cover <laughs> Girl, I've Got a Date, you know, that's not a, that's not a small thing to, to attempt, you know. Um, well, well um, this album, I basically... I pushed the envelope, you know, with my range, with um, making sure that the records, you know, are, you know, in key, you know. Oh yeah. Working with the working with great producers, um, you know, Cleavy, um, you know, MV Camp, you know, we have like young guns around us that you know just got good. Just got a knock for music like Natel. And I'm um, just working with great musicians like Lenky, Flabba, that played on Night Nurse and all the big tracks, you know, played bass on those tracks. Yeah. Um, Kirk Dove, who's one of the top drummers right now in Jamaica. Um, you know, and Bowie, you know, you know, just different, you know, musicians that we knew could give us this feel. Right. Wow. Because so it was, it was very important to capture Lover's Rock and Alton Ellis. You know, you know, with that whole rock steady vibes. You know, when people say lovers rock, you know, you know, you know, we have to realize that lovers rock is not really like a, a genre. You know, to, w w which I think, I think it's it's the way you rock to the music. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because you can you can rock to um, Alton and Ellis rock steady tracks. You know. True. So I just think the whole thing is reggae. You know, but you know, we just call it lovers rock because it makes you you know rock steady. You know. Absolutely. And I mean, every single song on here, you made it your own, you know? I had to. I had to because I was not, I was not going to do a record and try to sound karaoke or try to sound better than the original singer. Because if I had attempted to sound better than Cindy Lauper, then I would have flopped. <laughs> well, let her, do, uh, let her do what she does, but you took that song. Right. I mean, I'm glad you mentioned that song because you took... Uh, one of the most classic pop songs in the world and put it on one of the most classic rock steady rhythms ever. You know, the Queen Majesty. anyone would have thought about that you know it's just like when I, th I thought about putting thinking out loud on a reggae track but yeah. not just a reggae track but a, a studio album reggae track right so I knew if I if I found the right beat to put thinking out loud and time after time on and and lady in red you know the beat would have helped to carry it right so, so it's exactly what we did and um you know, I got to give a lot of credit, you know, and props to Cleavy, who is a great listener, who is a great, you know, you know, you know, vocal coach. Mm. Um, you know, so, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not just Vegas, man. 
I mean, you just reeled off some heavy names there to have Roots Radix, Flaba, and Cleavy. Yeah, right. Now, Steely was in Roots Radix at one time, right? He was right, a part right, of that. Right. And then Cleavy right. now in the mix. So this band you put together just for this project, right? Most definitely, most definitely. And most of the, um, the tracks are live. So I had to get the right sound because sometimes you hear some live sounds and it sounds like a concert. So I wanted to get live vibe, but I wanted to get Bob Marley feeling bass line vibe. Studio One feeling bass line vibe. Original, you know, night nurse bass line, you know, so I had to get the greatest. Mm. You know, it was a chance. And I mean, how does this project begin? What was the spark that made you say, let's do this? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that is very outspoken about the music. But I don't, I'm just a person that speaks. You know, I try to, you know, you know contribute. So when, when I look at what's going on with our music these days, you know, I could easily sit around and just complain. You know, that there was nothing crossing over. There was nothing playing on international radio from Jamaica um, in terms of reggae and dancehall. Um, you know, all I could basically try to contribute. And when I did Thinking Out Loud on, on, the, on the, um, the, 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 the Love Bomb Rhythm, and I saw the reaction of the people in, 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 in the hardcore parties. I'm talking about, you know, hardcore dancehall. And people were just singing along and you know girls were you know bubbling to that bass line on, on the love bump reading really, to thinking out loud and it, it just give you a good vibe you know so I, I'm just I just said to myself you know what I'm, I just want to do a whole album like what Sanchez did like what Frankie Paul did like what Leroy Gibbons did um, like what John Holt you know you know John Holt mixed it up you know sometimes with some covers and classic covers yeah and um, I just wanted to do something to basically remind people that this is a part of our culture um, people love, you know, to sing along and, 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 and move to this bass line and these, you know, sweet, you know, melodious, you know, you know, phrase on these beats, you know. So that was the whole vibe, you know, and, it, you know, I, I thought about it in Europe and in one month the project was done. But I knew if I dropped that on, a, on like what Sanchez used to do, just drop those songs on some original rubber dub bass line rhythm, I knew it was going to... You know, react. I didn't know it was going to react this well, because I'm not the greatest singer. Um, you know, in the first place, so I'm just, you know, grateful that people liked it. Uh, don't be modest, man. You you touch some notes <laughs> on this thing, man. You touch some notes. Right. So you know, it's very important for us to not just wait until a foreign group does a reggae track and then we say, wow, you know, that foreign group, you know, they're stealing reggae. You know, because if people see we're not using it, they're going to use it. Exactly, exactly. And um, I love the album cover, by the way, the vintage look, like from the the wardrobe to the <laughs> the whole photo yes, shoot. Yes, it, it looks. I think I think I think Coxon would have been proud of that, you know, <laughs> cover and the album itself, you know, because 